The Last of Us captured plenty of hearts when it launched in 2013, but even if you're playing it for the first time in 2020 like I am, Joel and Ellie's cross-country journey is just as moving and impactful. Here's why. While there are always elements of games that are bound to date after a long enough period of time, The Last of Us's greatest strength is timeless. That is, its portrayal of complex characters embroiled in an emotional and heart-wrenching fight for survival. It's the things that don't age, the game's performances, pacing, and excellent use of the linear narrative format that keep the magic of Naughty Dog's post-apocalyptic epic intact seven years later. I played an hour or two of The Last of Us when it first came out, but somewhere in the brick-littered arenas and conveniently placed chest-high walls, it lost me. That isn't to say the beginning didn't absolutely break my heart, though. It remains one of the best intros to a game I've ever seen, but it took me until this year to give the game a second chance and really get into it. The Last of Us isn't framed around boss encounters or becoming an unstoppable powerhouse. The experience thrives on instilling a strong sense of vulnerability. You spend the entire game scrambling, pushing through one tense and uncertain situation into the next. And the feeling that that brings you as a player is very similar to the state Joel and Ellie find themselves in throughout the game. The mechanics of The Last of Us elevate its themes of survival and desperation, keeping resources sparse, inventory limits low, and crafting items essential enforces the idea that you're fighting tooth and nail to survive against brutal odds. This sort of shared experience between the player and characters creates empathy that enhances the impact of the emotional story. The Last of Us presses its troubled characters into horrible situations, forces them to persevere through tragedy, and ultimately that changes who they are and the relationships they form. The game's biggest success is in how it endears you to its characters, brutal as they can be, encouraging you to care for them and want to know where their story leads. The Last of Us leverages a linear narrative and a very deliberate pace to drive its most impactful scenes and character moments. The game's score underpins and elevates each moment as it runs the gamut from severe tension to heart-pounding gunfights to heartfelt dialogues. He tried to... Oh, baby girl. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Using the linear narrative format not only lets Naughty Dog tell the story it wants to, but have you experience it in the precise way the developer wants you to. In my opinion, there's no better way to tell an affecting video game story, especially if it's a story worth telling. There are so many touches that make The Last of Us feel especially alive and impactful. Collectible notes left behind encourage you to delve deeper into the game world and inform what's happened to the people you encounter and how the world has been reshaped by the outbreak. Ellie's tendency to independently nose her way around the game world makes it feel like you're with an ally and not escorting an NPC. Most obviously, the game's performances remain as excellent today as they were seven years ago and elevate the characters above and beyond the writing. The Last of Us isn't a game to be won. There's room for multiple approaches in combat and whether you're a gun-toting hero who shoots their way through every arena or more like me taking five times as long to crawl stealthily through, there's no right or wrong way to go about it. The game isn't interested in rewarding or punishing you for your preferred approach to combat. It just wants you to keep moving ahead. Whether you finish a fight stocked up on health or managed by the skin of your teeth, just like Joel and Ellie, survival is what matters, not how you survive. The Last of Us makes your actions a narrative device, making you part of the story. In its final moments, it comes full circle in making you feel what its characters feel, going beyond just a well-made zombie apocalypse story. The further you get through the game world, the more you understand the depth of its brutality and how it has changed the characters trying to survive within it. But it also shines a light on how and why characters hold tight to the things that matter to them, and as a result, its shocking final moments feel earned. Truly brilliant stories are timeless, especially those presented in compelling ways. It's why The Last of Us became so iconic and why there's such excitement for the sequel. As is the case for Joel and Ellie, it doesn't matter how you make it to the end. It just matters that you do, and theirs is a story that deserves to be seen through.